We've been working on the tool shed's floor and walls and took our tractor for a trip. The irrigation system got expanded, the greenhouse got optimized, and we made elderflower syrup. One of our neighbors had some old facade laying around, so we purchased it and reused it for the walls of the tool cabin. As the way to our field is not reachable by car, we reloaded everything onto our trailer and cut and drove our trustworthy tractor down to the field. We started laying the floor and then turned our attention towards the walls. And before you wonder, this is not a sleeping hut, it's just a hut to store all the tools that we have next to our field. Needless to say, we're pretty pleased with the result. We're working on expanding the irrigation system to slowly have all the beds watered from the pond. It's kind of a puzzle to find all the fitting parts and get the hang of making them work together. We use a combination of dripping and seeping hoses depending on the gap between the plants. The tomato plants are growing and need some aid to prevent them from breaking. For that we connected hemp strings to the base of the tomato stems and the ceiling of the greenhouse. As it's quite common to make elderberry juice in the region where we live in, we started that process ourselves as well. Therefore, Katra and Nini collected multiple bags full of the, of the flour from the elderberry.
Next, we collected some secret ingredients out of our herb garden. We added water and sugar. We're not gonna give you the recipe here, as we're still experimenting with the ratio. We ended up with close to 40 liter of the elderberry juice and a pretty messed up kitchen. Some plants didn't grow as we expected, so we had to reseed. Also, our seeding machine had to seed some more of onion and salad. Wolfie helped our neighbor to sheep shearing and got some of the wool instead. So we decided to get it as fertilizer to the potatoes. They benefit from it and we don't have to water it as much as we used anymore because the wool helps to save the water in the ground. 